25. Shall the Town of Hampton vote to raise and appropriate the sum of $10,000 to the Hampton Conservation Commission Land Acquisition Fund. The fund is used to acquire, maintain, improve, protect, or limit the future use of or otherwise conserve and properly utilize open spaces and conservation easements in Hampton in accordance with RSA 36A. Four, majority vote required, recommended by the Board of Selectmen 5-0, recommended by the Budget Committee 11-1. to one. Fiscal impact note, the estimated 2014 tax impact is four-tenths of one cent per thousand dollars evaluation. Is there a motion to open discussion on Article 25, moved by Ms. Woolsey, seconded by Mr. Pierce. Is there anyone wishing to be heard on Article 25 or recognize Mr. Diener of the Conservation Commission? Jay Diener, 206 Woodland Road, Chairman of the Conservation Commission. I think you all know that in recent years we have helped to place conservation easements on Ice Pond in Hampton and on the Batchelder uh, Farm on the west side of Hampton. Every time we have an opportunity to place a conservation easement or to purchase open space for the town of Hampton, the first thing we do is we put up the Conservation Commission's funds as best we can. Um, we do that for two reasons, because it's a good faith effort on our part to reduce the amount of money we're asking for the, from the voters for this effort if we do have to go to the voters. And secondly, so that we can use our funds as match when we go out seeking grants or other, other sources of funding to help to complete this purchase. So we do our best to keep the funding of these projects that are going to benefit the entire town within the confines of the Conservation Commission. We do that first. Um, with the two purchases of Batch Elder Farm and, and the Ice Pond easement, um, our expenditures were in the neighborhood of about $250,000. That leaves our conservation land fund with um, a uh, amount of $55,000 currently. Uh, we're looking to build that back up so that we can, when the opportunity strikes, do as best we can to take advantage of opportunities to preserve land for the benefit of citizens of Hampton without having to ask for money from the citizens any more than we possibly have to. So this article lets us build up that, that budget um, on a slow basis so we don't have to ask the town for a lot of money um, and gets us back to the point where we can make a serious dent when we do have an opportunity to make a, an additional purchase of a conservation easement for, for you folks. So I hope you'll support this article. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diener. Mr. Jones. Here we go. The Budget Committee recommended this 11-1. I was the one in dissent. I'm here to explain why. As Mr. Diener just said, the purpose of this warrant article is to add $10,000 to the conservation fund. Of course, if you read that, it actually says something entirely different, or it seems to, Conservation Commission Land Acquisition Fund. But the truth is that the state law under which this fund is operated is referred to as simply the Conservation Fund. It is wholly under the control of the Conservation Commission. Nobody else can decide to spend money out of that fund except the Conservation Commission and appointed board. This one article would suggest quite the contrary, of course, that it has some specific purpose about land acquisition. It does not. It refers to, the state law says, hey, Conservation Commission can spend it for anything relative to their conservation activities, including salaries, et cetera, et cetera. Now, Mr. Diener also pointed out that uh, he's depleted his fund, or the fund has been depleted over time, and he's asking to start accumulating funds. So the purpose for the accumulation of funds is so that if he decides to buy additional land in the future, that we can then say, well, it has a small impact on the tax rate because we've, bus we've, we've busied ourselves over the years creating this slush fund that we can extract from. And he speaks about, you know, having acquired other easements. I mean, just keep in mind, for example, the herd farm, which was purchased, um, I believe, about 10 years ago. Or so this year, we're going to be paying something on the order of $150,000 in debt service on that. So this conservation fund, you should keep in mind, is not the sole source of buying conservation land. We've actually bonded things to buy the land. He uses this to make down payments, which he's depleted this fund. This fund is available to him to use for any purpose related to conservation commissions. And I'll further point out that he actually has a separate source of revenue from the town, the budget. He has a conservation budget. 
And it's also noteworthy that in that conservation budget, if he doesn't expend it all, where does the balance go? It goes into the conservation fund, so he gets to keep it. It doesn't go back to us at all. So this, this is really little more than a slush fund in my mind. That's why I voted no on it, and I encourage everyone to vote no on it. Thank you, Mr. Jones. Anyone else wishing to be heard? Ms. Gaithel? And I'll get back to you, Mr. Dean. Sure. Ellen Gaithel, 23 Ridgeview Terrace, and I've been on the Conservation Commission more than I have been off. I've been trying to get off for the past couple of years because I have um, fisheries uh, responsibilities. Um, I wasn't going to speak on this article. I felt that it had been passed over and over again. Um, the intent has been always to use this money, and we do in a separate fund keep it separate. The town treasurer has a separate account for this money and we have always used it to put down payments to hold pieces of property um, so that we can vote at town meeting to see if the town wishes to purchase the land or not. We also have used it to purchase very small pieces of land with all the appropriate um, public meetings and um, votes. So I urge you to put some money in here so that we have the ability to hold property for the future town meeting votes. Without it, we have uh, no way to keep, um, to put a uh, deposit down. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Gaithel. Mr. Dina. While the RSAs may permit us to use these monies for any purpose the Conservation Commission deems fit, we have, as Ms. Gaisel, Gaisel said, always had a separate line item in our budget that is specifically for the purpose of land acquisition. We have used the funds that are on that line item only for that purpose. To do otherwise would be doing a disservice to the people of the town of Hampton. To do otherwise, I think, would stop you from supporting us in any further efforts to add to that fund, and I wouldn't blame you for doing that. Um, we, won't, we have never done that. We will not do that. This fund is set aside for a specific purpose, only for that purpose. The RSAs may give us greater latitude, but they do not restrict us from setting aside those funds only for that purpose, and so that is exactly what we do. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Diener. Anyone else before? Yeah, let me get Mr. Uh, Nichols, then I get Mr. Nichols, uh, then Mr. Jones. Let me have he hasn't spoken yet, uh, so then I'll come back to you, okay? Go ahead, Mr. Nichols. Um, the, the point was made about language in the statute which allowed broader use of this money. Um, I believe that this is a classic case where the language of a warrant article interacts with the language of a statute and that, in fact, the language of this Warren article provides greater restrictions, which would have to be adhered to um, by the Conservation Commission for the use of those funds, specifically the language of acquire, maintain, improve, and so on. I would ask that the town attorney um, express his opinion on that issue. Yes, I, I agree with Mr. Nichols on that point. All right. Thank you. Anything further, Mr. Nichols? Mr. Jobs. I don't think I understood Ms. Nichols' point. Yes, uh, I think I'm agreeing with you that it can be used for land acquisition, but it can be used for any conservation purpose that the Conservation Commission deems fit. They are an appointed, non-elected body. And while Mr. Diener is also correct, as far as I can tell, they have not used it to anything contrary to what's been stated here tonight. But can he assure me that the money that we put into that fund will continue to be under his personal control, that we can rely on his personal integrity? There are future conservation commissioners that will be appointed by the Board of Selectmen who may not have the high degree of integrity as Jay Dana does. Should we rely on that? I think what we're doing is we're setting ourselves up for abuse, just as we are being abused, in my opinion, by giving the conservation commission two sources of funds, namely the Conservation Commission fund itself, as well as the budget. And may I remind you that they granted a 9.25% raise in their own budget this year without even checking with anybody first. So is there subject to abuse here? Yes, there's possibility for abuse. Has it taken place yet? I don't think so. 
but I think it's getting pretty close to the line with that 9.25 percent raise. Hey, Mr. Jones. All right. Seeing no one else uh, on uh, Article 25, it will appear on the warrant as printed.